and look what I got from Amazon. A nice German helmet. Cheap as plastic, 20 pounds, 20 quid. So I'm gonna paint it up, Normandy camouflage. Put another sort of chin strap on it, texturize it, age it, put some chicken wire on it, and uh, make a good old German helmet. All right, the first job, and the hardest, is uh, putting on the chicken wire. So I found a nice bit of chicken wire up in the country, just dumped so I'll yeah shake that on there this will get a bit of brown on there to rust it up as well I've already taken apart the bottom piece so I can get it wrapped around and tightened but that then will have to come off before I spray it obviously so yeah let's do that <laughs> Oh, that'll do for stars. Nice little basket. When I do the rest later, any movement may add a few scratches, which is what I'm after anyway, to age it and make it look used and worn. I've still got to put the, uh, the line around the bottom to tie it on and probably clips to clip underneath. So, right, okay, uh, next I've got to add some... Uh, some rivet holes. Right, next I've got to put some little washers on the rivet on the uh the vent holes. Not that I have to. I'm just being fussy. I'm sure no one would ever notice. Right, I've scuffed that up and dented it nicely. That'll certainly do for what I need. Put my vent holes in. They stand out a little bit proud. Made my chicken wire basket. That'll pop on there. I can paint some of the chicken wire. Oh, does that work well? Just to replicate some of that old rusty wire there. And yeah, paint that onto the onto the basket. Right, I have a nice brown here, which will work okay for my my rust effect. I've got a nice old brush for dry brushing, and it's just a case of lightly brushing over. All right, something else I can be working on is the chin strap. So, just uh, a cheap ladies belt from a charity shop, thrift store. I can scratch that up with the, uh, the rough sandpaper. And add a bit of paint to that as well. And make it a bit of paint on there and just sort of rub that down a little bit of brown and uh, rather gunmetal grey I've just realised my nice white background sheet that I use is now filthy and got paint on it oh I'm gonna have to find another one again at the charity shop bugger Uh, anyway, that's kind of good enough. All uh, right, let's see if I can get the shell sprayed up. All right, so I just got a little can of that colour, which does go matte, uh, which is close enough for what I need. So that's going to go over the as the base coat, then the the brown, the green for the Normandy camouflage. We'll go on top. I 
I had bought some decals to go on the side uh, as a double decal. Just, I, I thought maybe, but as I'm gonna cover it totally with paint, probably not. All right, there was a base coat. My next coat, which will be a bit thicker and stickier, I can sprinkle on some of the, the sawdust and metal filings and sweepings ups. Give the, the helmet a bit of texture. Right, that's the second coat on top of the the dust and mess. That's a nice texture. That was the end of that little rattle can, so that'll do. So now I have to do the uh, the brown and the green. So German armor divisions had their own compressors. So they had uh, spray guns. So they'd maybe do the bulk of the helmet, you know, at, with the spray gun, uh, and then give it to the, the soldiers to finish off by brush, which is what I want to do, just so it doesn't look quite so sprayed. I think there are examples of sprayed, totally, you know, the tan, the brown, and the green, but... Uh, I know I want to do my brown and green with a brush. Right, that'll do. Let that dry. That looks nicely rough, I think. I'm very happy with that. And I did the the mesh. Not that you can see that, but yeah, a little bit of brown. A little bit of gunmetal. Oh, it's all coming together nicely. Right, that's nice and dry now. Nice and textured. I've brushed off any bits that will brush off easily. <clears throat> now, because I want this to be an old helmet, like at the moment, because it's freshly done, uh, it would be as if it was 70 years ago. But what I want is a helmet from 70 years ago, which looks like it's just been well kept. So to do that, I'm going to be dry brushing on some, some gunmetal, gunmetal grey, and just dry brushing like that, with a virtually dry brush. Then I'll hit these edges with a bit more, and then just a little bit of uh, silver just where the the wear is maybe the patina is a bit more so just a little bit of silver and but mostly just the uh, the gunmetal grey so let's give that a shot Right, and do some of that silver edge wear. Well, it's constantly being touched and rubbed as it's taken on and off.
kind of like that. Oh, yeah, I think that'll do. That's close enough. Close enough for what I need. A few photos. Go in the German bunker and uh, make it look the part. I've got to glue the, uh, the chin strap on. Might need to do a bit more work on the chin strap, maybe. Make it look a bit better. But otherwise, yeah. I'm happy with that.